friends, Robin here with Matman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes year round. Um, so when I am stressed, hurting, or sad, I have two compulsions. I like to eat, and I've already eaten everything in the house, and I like to shop. So I went shopping. Matt says it's cheaper than therapy, so if it isn't something that needs actual therapist attention, um, I, like to, I like to go shopping. So I went to all of the clearance places that I like to go to, um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and Kroger. And I'm gonna show you some things that I picked up. Um, ugh, ugh, ugh. Sorry, my chair the little feet were stuck in the grooves of our tile. See, it's tile. And so I couldn't back up. Anyway, first I want to show you some things I picked up at Walmart. Um, I got this towel. It is a really thin, it's technically a workout towel. Um, but I picked up two for a couple reasons. I think these would be great for boxes. So if you, if a towel is something you want to put in, this is very um, thin because of the material, but I really like using these. Um, so one of them I picked up for my mom and the other one I picked up for us to use as a travel beach towel because beach towels are just so bulky and this is so much smaller and it this kind of wicking material will dry you off and you can keep using it but it is pretty large if you can see I think it's the size of a regular small towel it's bigger than a hand towel but not as big as a full body towel and definitely not as big as a beach towel um, I picked this up in the clearance section at Walmart for two dollars and fifty cents so be on the lookout for these if you wanted to include a towel. This could even substitute as a blanket. It's a very soft microfiber material. So I'm really glad I picked two of these up. Um, the next thing, this is fun. I wanted to do this with you. It is a mini brands and I like these for Barbie accessories. It's a little bit too expensive for me to buy them for seven or $5, which is what I usually see them on clearance. But this one was on sale for $1.50, so I went ahead and picked it up. Let's open it together. Um, I have my X-Acto knife here. Let's see if I can do this. All right, well, it's gonna, it's gonna come open without the X-Acto knife. There we go. And then this is what we're left with. There should be five toys in here and I'm hoping that they are fun sized to put in with my Barbie accessories and give them to kiddos to play with. Okay, here we go. It's got another layer of plastic. I'm trying. Here we go. Away from you. Push away from you. I worked at Boy Scouts for three years and that's the one thing I learned is uh cut away from you. <laughs> so let me put up my knife so I don't hurt myself. All right, let's see if this was worth $1.25. So this is how they open. I don't know if you've seen these, um, but they just kind of open like this and there's a little toy in each little orange slice. So here is one and we got a party game that says, what's that smell? Okay, maybe I will include that, I don't know. Here is another white orange slice. Let's see what our next thing is. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look, it's little tiny markers. Can you see? There's not actually anything in here. It's just a representation of little tiny markers. So cute, this will be fun to send with Barbie for sure. I have a teacher Barbie box and this will be going in there. And then the last white orange slice here is a mini ball. <laughs> okay, um, all right. So a mini ball inside of the ball of minis. And then I have two pinks, pink ones, which 
The slices are a little bit bigger, so I'm thinking maybe the miniatures are gonna be a little bit bigger. Let's open this one. Oh, okay. Um, well, it is a mini blaster. So I don't know if I'm gonna put that in a box. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Mini blaster, okay or not? I don't think it would go with a Barbie, but hmm. And the last one here is a mini Nerf gun, another blaster. So I don't know, I kinda um, didn't do very good with my luck on these. That's why I can't see myself spending like seven and five dollars for them. A dollar fifty, I definitely will use the little markers in my Barbie teacher box, but I really wish I hadn't spent a dollar fifty on that, so. You know, it is what it is. And then I picked up this pencil case on the clearance aisle. It was only 15 cents. Love it, I'll pay that all day long. This I paid full price for and I'm keeping it for myself because your girl loves a bow scrunchie. Um, and it was a dollar in the Walmart dollar spot. They had several different colors and they had different kinds of bows on them. So if you are interested, they had blue and pink. And I'm guessing after Easter, these might go on clearance because they were all Eastery colors. And then my favorite thing that I picked up at Walmart today is this wild art, wait, wild at heart <laughs> coloring book. It was 75 cents, I love it. And it has so many adult coloring pages and they are one-sided. Um, in case they want to use markers. So I love this, it's super thick. I can't wait to put this in a teenage girl box. Or maybe five, uh, five to nine too. I just wouldn't put this with a two to four year old. So I love it, it's beautiful. Then um, your girl got hungry and I stopped for lunch at McDonald's, which I don't normally do. Only if I'm in that certain part of town, that's like the only fast food in the area. It's weird, I know. Um, but when I do stop at McDonald's, I always get a Happy Meal and get a Happy Meal toy. This one is um, from Karma's World. And it's, it's gonna be perfect to put in a little pencil pack. It is actually like a little, um, like there's a paper doll and there's tic-tac-toe and dot to dot, just a little paper booklet and it comes with a pencil. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I will add it to a pencil pack that I send in as a filler for the processing center. Um, so that was my McDonald's toy, my lunch, lunch special. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. And Playside Creations is still on clearance in my area. I don't know if they got a new shipment in and put it straight to clearance, but there were definitely things that I've been looking for that I finally found. I'll show you the first one. I found the scissors, ah, like a weekend too late. But look at this price, $1.50 for all of these scissors. And these are great scissors. I would pay the $6 for all of these scissors. Um, they're not the best quality scissors, but they do cut paper and that is what they are used for. I put these primarily in my two to four boxes because they are blunt ended and they're not quite as sharp um, that maybe like a teenage girl might need if she's doing sewing or something. She might need a better quality scissor than this, but I love putting these in two to four boxes where they're gonna be cutting paper and construction paper and yarn and things where they're just learning their, to use their dexterity almost stabbed my toe. Good thing they're blunt ended. Anyway, $1.50 for these. I've been looking for them. I was so thrilled to get them. My bag is falling over. And then um, I had to go to the restroom and so I walked down the t-shirt aisle, which I don't normally go down in Hobby Lobby, um, but that's just how to get to the restroom. And some of the stuff was on clearance on that aisle and I was flabbergasted. Look at this. Aren't these cute? Look at these beautiful pastel colors. I can't wait. Um, I want to put these in a Cinderella box 
and I wish I had Belle, but these reminded me of Belle, and this reminds me of Rapunzel, so I do have a Cinderella and Rapunzel. I wish there was a light green so I could put one in my Tiana box, but anyway, look at all of these bows, and they come in sets, two, four, six, eight, uh, 10, 12, there are 12 bows here for $2.50. I can't believe it. I love it. I picked them up. They are the, um, the kind of bows. Let me see if I can pull one off of here. They have this kind of closure on them. So great. I love them. I was very happy to pick that up. They had a lot of those. They had different colors even, but those were the colors that I picked up. And then I'm doing an Encanto box, and this gave me Encanto vibes with the pretty mariposa or butterfly um, and those pretty colors. So I picked that up for $1.25. I picked up the two sets of these. I've seen um, Trish putting these in a lot of her boxes recently, so I did go ahead and pick them up. She inspired me. For $1, this is a great bead kit, and I can put it in just like this, and it, it lays so nice and flat. Perfect. I also picked up a couple of these for $0.50, cents, and they're just charms um, with little unicorns on them. And what I will do is I will buy the necklaces from Timu for like $0.80. Cents. You get like 10 for $0.80, cents, and I will string them on those necklaces and then we'll have a nice little set of jewelry. So I bought um, all of the ones they had of these. And then I could have bought more of these, but I refrained. Uh, I got one set of these for 75 cents. It comes with three sets of barrettes and three scrunchies, and I'll pair them up. Again, this gave me Encanto vibes, and this is kind of giving me like Cinderella. So I was thinking about my princesses when I got this. I also picked up these wooden beads. I think they're so cute. I will just include some um, string, some like um, bracelet string and send this in a box for 62 cents. I thought these were so pretty, these little wooden beads. And then I picked up some stickers. I have a Barbie doctor box and a Barbie teacher box. So I got these stickers. Here is the fun teacher set that will go in there. And then here is the fun doctor set that will go in there. Um, I might even use these to decorate the box because I'm wanting to do, to make like a little classroom, oh, a little classroom out of one of the boxes and a little doctor's office. So I might use these, I might not. Either way, they are double-sided. So there's two sheets of stickers for 62 cents each. And then, bandana alert if you like to use clear boxes which i have been on the hunt for um because we used all of my boxes in the pack packing party so i've been on the hunt for some more clear boxes and if you use them and you like to um, kind of wrap your items the way that i do or several people do with bandanas uh bandanas are on clearance at hobby lobby and i had to make myself leave them there. Um, these were my most expensive. I got two of these and they were the most expensive ones at, um, I believe 37 cents guys. Like what? Okay. Where is it? There it is. 37 cents for this bandana. Fantastic price. I picked up two of these. Um, for some reason I picked up three of these. These were a quarter. I think they're beautiful. Um, I have a, um, like a girl Barbie astronaut box that I'm working on and a boy space theme box that I'm working on and a boy Buzz Lightyear box. So there are the three. Those were a quarter a piece. I also picked up two of these. Oh, no, just one of these. Because it was so pretty, I don't actually have a unicorn box I'm working on right now. Isn't that crazy? I sent them all um, in with my um, packing party. So that's where all my unicorn stuff went. But again, this is just a quarter. So I got this for a quarter. This pretty um, feathers one was a quarter. And the um, mermaid ones were a quarter. 
So that is all that I got at Hobby Lobby and I think I did a fantastic job. Then um, the next thing I'm gonna show you, these items are from Kroger. If you don't have a Kroger or a Food Lion near you, I'm so sorry, but I love sourcing things from Kroger. Guys, I scored, I scored. Look at these little dinosaurs, aren't they great? I'm just showing you four of them to kind of show you like a size and color arrangements. They're so bright and vibrant. They're a little bit harder than the ones from um, Dollar Tree. I think this is the same brand that you can get at um, Walmart for $1.98 at Walmart or $1.50, something like that. But I picked them up for 60 cents a piece and there were 22 of them. 11, two of each kind, 11 dinosaurs. I think someone just took the entire box, marked them and dumped them in the clearance section because there were two of each. So I got 22 dinosaurs. And what I will do is I will make sure that my dinosaur boxes, um, I think I only have one right now, has enough dinosaurs. And if it does, these will just go straight into my um, filler box because these are amazing filler. I will take all the tags off of them and then put them in the filler box. But 22 dinosaurs is so amazing. And then I picked up this fun set of monster erasers for 68 cents. Thought they were really cute. I am working on a monster box right now. I also, like I said, I have several um, space themed boxes right now and I found these space themed playing cards. They kind of have like a galaxy design and there's stars on them. I thought they were beautiful. They were $1.69, so a little bit more than Dollar Tree prices, but for this bicycle brand in this really pretty design, I went ahead and picked them up too. Uh, I picked up all they had. They only had two in the clearance section. And then I got this cute little football. I've never done a football box, um, but this is really fun. When they throw it, the air is going to go through these whistles and it's going to make a whistling sound. And this was on sale for 49 cents. I think it must have come out of a larger package, um, but it is in excellent condition. And um, I'll pay 49 cents for a really fun, cute football. And now I have, I have to do a football box. Or maybe I'll just do a sports box. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Um, I also picked up, I don't need any more Palm Patrol stuff. My Paw Patrol bag is busting at the seams and I already sent two in with the packing party. But look at these, aren't they great? Uh, the, here is Chase, he is in his little cop car and you can actually see him in there. And then here is Marshall riding his fire truck and the cute little Dalmatian. And then here is Rubble in his construction vehicle. And these were all 75 cents a piece and I think they are great quality. There were several others there. In fact, I think um, they had all of these characters there, um, but I decided to pick up these three because they were vibrant colors. So um, I, had to, I had to rein it in a little bit. If you consider this really long haul, reining it in. And then I picked up some girl stuff from um, Kroger. I got these Polly Pockets. There were four different dolls, and so I got one of each. Aren't they so cute? Um, and they were $1.26. I think these guys, I'm gonna open one really quick right here. I think these guys, they're, they have those rubber clothes. Yeah, so. They're like the ones from um, Dollar Tree, except their clothes are more stretchy and rubbery. Um, and their hair doesn't come off. But their little shoes do. Oh gosh, she's losing her shoes. And oh heavens, okay. But um, this size doll, there's some really cute furniture for this size doll at Daiso. So I will go ahead and pick up some of that furniture to go with these and probably put them in sets of two. So I'll have two sets. I don't know if they'll go in a box or if they're going to the processing center as filler, 
but I just had to pick them up for $1.26. That's dollar store prices, and these are much nicer than the Dollar Tree um, dolls. So, yay, I was so excited about that. And then there were several different styles of these dots, Lego bracelets. I normally don't pick these up because they, again, they're like, they run five or six dollars. They're really cool, um, but I didn't wanna pay that much for a bracelet, except these were on clearance for 72 cents. And I am working on three Trolls boxes that are going to have Lego sets in them. So I thought I would include these. So I picked up three of these for my Trolls boxes. I got two of these because Chelsea clothes and accessories are kind of hard to find. And several of my Chelsea dolls come with just plastic swimsuits. So I kind of wanted to include something else that's like clothing for them. Um, and these were $1.50 close to Dollar Tree prices, so I picked both of these up. And then the last thing I got at Kroger was this extra mini Barbie. Um, I don't know if I should have spent this much, but I have a specific box in mind that has another doll that's about this size, and I like to send two dolls at a time, so I thought of a specific box to put her in. They had a lot more of these, um, and if they go down in price to like $1.50, I will pick them up. But for $3, the other doll, um, she was adorable and I liked her outfit better, but she had words stamped in her hair. And I wasn't a fan of that because I know what happens to Barbie's hair. It just kind of goes, and I didn't want there to be like random words printed on it. I don't know. If they go down to $1.50, I'll pick them up. But she was the only one without things stamped in her hair. So I picked her up and that was Kroger. I'm, I'm making a mess. You can't see down here, um, thank the Lord, because it's a catastrophe. And then the last place I went was Dollar Tree. And I know that you guys have probably seen a lot of these, but this is all but most things are new to me. So I picked them up, I was really excited. The first thing I wanna show you are these magazines. I know that you've seen other people haul them. I know that you've seen them on Facebook. I found them and I wanted to show you the different varieties they have so that you can be on the lookout for the covers. These were ringing up 25 cents. Um, so I got one of each of them. There is an Iron Man one, a Spider-Man one, and a um, Thor one for the boys. Those are the ones for the boys. And then for the girls, there is a Princess Jasmine one, which is interesting to me because most everything in here is about Cinderella, but Jasmine is on the front. And then there are two different Frozen ones. And that was all the ones that I saw at my Dollar Tree. I went ahead and picked up one of each to show you. If I don't have a specific box for these, I'm sending them in as filler. I have um, made a promise to myself not to over pack my um, shoebox room. So if I don't have a box for it, it is going to the processing center. That's, that's my new philosophy. I wanna get this stuff and get it out of here. <laughs> I also picked up some of these brain busters. Um, I saw, I cannot remember who, and it was over a month ago but they put together some really cute pencil packs and they put a few of these cards in them. And I just loved how bright and happy they were. So I picked them up. Um, I will put some of them in boxes, but I also, I mainly picked them up for um, pencil packs. This one is dinosaurs. So how great to put two dinosaurs and a couple of these cards and bam, that is a filler ready to go off to the processing center in a little Ziploc baggie, and now a kiddo has a possible wow item. I love it. I have some um, ocean sea life, and I got it because there is this turtle on the front, and I'm putting together a turtle box. It's kind of a mix of sea turtle and ninja turtles, but that's okay. So I wanted to get this specifically for that sea turtle. And then these are so cute. This is pets. I do have a vet box that I'm working on, so I'll put a couple of these in there. 
and the rest will go on to pencil packs and then space. We've already established that I have at least three boxes that this can go in and I love it. I think that they are so pretty. Um, I have not looked at the cards myself. I just saw someone else haul them. So let me see here. Let me make a mess and, and tear the box. That's good. But look how beautiful that is. Aren't they so pretty? Oh my gosh. And then on the back are like fun trivia questions. So if they can't read this sort of advanced English, then they just have these really beautiful images to look at. I love it. I think this is a great thing for um, boxes and pencil packs. So I picked up those four different ones. Also, speaking of the turtle box that I am doing, I picked up the tortoise and the hare. How cute is he with his little bow tie? And then, you know, Mr. Bunny over here that I'm sure, I hope that this is the traditional, it looks like, yeah, it is the traditional ending where the tortoise wins. Um, but I love this for my turtles box. And then I also picked up a set of playing cards. They are jumbo and they're Ninja Turtles. So I love it. That box is coming along and it's making me happy. I also picked up another one of these Woodstock and Snoopy books um, because I have another Snoopy box that I'm collecting for. So I thought this was great. Um, I have a lot of books already for my Sunday school boxes, but I really wanted to put some more Noah's Ark stuff in there. So I picked up this really fun, pretty book. Uh, it's just a fun board book. It does have a lot of English in it, but um, the stories are long, so you have to get a lot of words in there on these four pages. And then I also am doing monster book, a monster box that we talked about earlier. So I picked up these two things. This is a monster's coloring book and a monster's board book. I think it is for a boy aged five to nine, but this is still a lot of fun to look at all of these really pretty fun colors and to work on your English. And hopefully it's not too advanced, but I like that it's also about going to the eye doctor. So I picked up this monster book and this monster coloring book. Um, it has really great lines and it's that dark, dark lines on crisp white paper. I love it, such great quality. It does have some games in it, um, but Perfect, perfect for my monster box. A few more things and then we'll be done. Um, I had have to start my Frozen collection again. So here are some Frozen things I picked up. I haven't seen 100 piece puzzles in quite a while. So I did pick up this really pretty Elsa and Anna one. This is what the puzzle actually looks like. I love it. I picked up this Olaf box for book. Olaf book. <laughs> For my two to four year old box, it's really cute, really easy pictures to see and understand, easy English, and it is all about Olaf. And then finally, I got two sets of these for both boxes. Um, I think these are really pretty um, and they are different than um, last year's ones. So, there's this one, which is, I'm trying to find something white to put behind it so you can see. Hot Mess Express here. Um, but there are the puffy stickers and the monster stickers. And then the next one is glitter stickers. I know you can't see that, but this page is so glittery and shiny. Next is the foil one with that rainbow foiling in the background. And then the last one is just regular glossy stickers. So much fun. I picked up two of these. And then, as I said, I am doing a Cinderella box. So I picked up this Cinderella book. Isn't she so pretty? Oh, Cindy, she's so pretty. It's gonna be fun to put together another light blue box for a little girl that is not Elsa themed. Um, but is Cinderella themed. So there is the really pretty um, pages for Cinderella. And then a Toy Story book. How fun is this one? I am doing two different boxes that have Buzz in them. I'm doing one that is specifically Buzz Lightyear themed and one that is Toy Story themed. So this will go in my Toy Story 
uh, box. This seems to look like that it is just images straight from the movie and it seems like it is just a retelling of the movie, which I think is great. And then I picked up these two Lightyear items. I have this color forms is not new to me, but the buzz one is, and this setup is new to me. Um, I've gotten these in the past that have different things in them with um, dinosaurs or with Frozen and I split them up into several boxes. But this one is a little bit different in that it comes with a sticker sheet and you put these stickers also on the pages. So I thought that was interesting and a little bit different. Um, and it also comes with four markers. So I got this for my Buzz Lightyear box. I also picked up two Trolls bags for my Trolls Lego box. And then the last two things that I got, and I'll let you get on your way. Um, I do have one of these for my Tiana, but I had to pick up one for Cindy. So I love these. This is a great quality from the Dollar Tree. You have to be careful when getting water bottles from the Dollar Tree. Their plastic is not always recommended. It breaks and it cracks. But this one I think is really high quality. And on the back it says Royal Courage. It's kind of hard to see, but it's cute. So I was going to see if, if it has a brand on it, but it doesn't. Oh, it is Zach. It's a Zach brand. I thought it might be, but I hadn't seen it anywhere. Um, it's in the plastic on the bottom. It's hard to tell, but it's Zach brand. So picked up one of these. And the very last thing I got was this accessory kit for, I will use it for Barbies. It's a great toy all on its own. If you wanted to do a pets box or puppy or kitty themed, they have this for cats and for dogs. This one is the dog one. I already have the cat one, so um, that is it. That's all for this amazingly long haul. Thank you guys for hanging out this long and indulging me in hanging out with you because, um, like I said, when I get stressed or hurt or sad, I want to shop and eat and hang out with you. And just to give you guys a little bit of an update, I, it just, I hate being like the sad wah wah person, but on Friday, Matt's grandma passed away. And so it's been really hard for us around here. Um, it was his um, dad's mom. So not the grandparents that you saw in our video from the packing party, that is his mom's parents. Um, but his dad's mom, his Mima was 94 years old. She lived a long, beautiful, happy life. She was a pastor's wife, um, and she's been widowed for over a decade now, so I'm sure that that was a long, you know, a long wait to be without your partner. And um, she was just going, living life, playing cards, going to her beauty appointments, living still going at 94 years old she was in a memory care facility um, where everything that she needed was contained within the facility but she still had her independence and had all her friends and they had their card games and um, it was a very quick painless passing there was no suffering no long hospital stays um, she did have about 24 we did have about a 24 hour realization of what was coming so she did get to um, see all of her kiddos and love on them before she passed on so it's just been really hard um for us especially matt um and it's been hard for me because my grandma's passing was so recent it feels like pulling the scab off of a wound um that while I am supporting Matt and and still mourning the loss of his sweet grandma, um, it's bringing up a whole bunch of memories from just a few months ago. And we're just not ready for this season of life. We've been so blessed to be almost in our 40s and still have all our grandparents. Um, so it's, it is not a fun season 
to be in where all of um, your loved ones start passing. So that is why I'm a little bit sad and why I needed to go shopping. So thanks for the therapy session. Thanks for um, letting me show you all of my goodies. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, what you think about these little shooter gun thingies. Um, so if I should include them in some boy boxes with little figurines or something, like would this go with Buzz Lightyear? Oh, I don't know. Um, let me know. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.